thousands of students are heading back to class this week to find more restrictions on their cell phones. Yeah, in fact, the I-Team surveyed 50 different districts and found that there's a variety of policies. Andre Lucia also found there's not a one-size-fits-all solution. When they are allowed to use it, it is instructionally focused. This is us reclaiming our student learning environment. We check it at the door to make sure it's off, push it in, lock it, just kind of check it, and then they're good to go. It's been life changing. I couldn't imagine going back. They still have their cell phone. They just won't be able to use it during class. And I'm a firm believer that this can work. This will work. I want to know my child is safe because we have direct contact. To me, it's like you're punishing all for something that maybe up to you to know. But again, I get it, but I don't agree with it. Perspective there, I-Team producer now, Kelsey Matower, joining us. And Kelsey, lots of opinions, obviously, on this issue. It's a hot topic. Yeah, yeah. Parents kind of come down on both sides, I think. Mm -hmm. Some like it, some don't. Students, as you can imagine, yes, are not excited. Don't, don't like it. Um, but right. teachers, the districts who do the pouches, at least, the locking pouches, they say teachers uh, love the idea. They surveyed them before, and they say yes, and then they surveyed them after they uh, have implemented the pouches. And they say they get tons of teaching time back because the kids aren't constantly distracted. Now, you were telling me there is soon to be like a law that will ban this that well, will possibly go into there's effect. There's talk yeah. about that mm -hmm. now. So uh, uh, right now it's district by district. But there, we actually interviewed a lawmaker who says that she thinks that school districts need to have funding to be able to implement this kind of ban. She really likes the locking pouches. Mm -hmm. um, so she's talking about filing that in January. Now, if it will go anywhere, I don't know. But it's really hard right now because it's a patchwork. So each district gets to choose how they want to do it. If they implement it statewide, I don't know how that'll work. But I did want to show you my map. Please that I made. do. I you were so excited time about this map. map okay? said, oh, that's not the map. Yes. But there is a map. We will put the map And up, if though. we see it, then you'll see all 50 districts. You can go to yeah. our website. And um, it's at the bottom of the uh, article. And you can hover over. And I just wrote, like, one line for each school district. Mm -hmm. I didn't link the actual policies. Okay. But... If you, if you did that, you, you don't see it here, but you can see it online, so yes, you can. it's there. We're going to put all of it, of course, up for you on CBSNewsTexas.com. Again, with Kelsey's full report and the I-Team investigation into this matter, the phone pouches. Again, a huge topic here. We're going to see more of this, obviously, throughout multiple districts. Throughout the Kelsey, thank you so much for just joining us this morning. I know it's early. That's okay. It's early, but we appreciate you and your, your report. Okay, so Kelsey and the rest of the I-Team, they are always digging into issues throughout uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, trying to get to the bottom of some of the issues that are inside of our communities. If you have any tips or questions, reach out to them. All of their contact information is on your screen right now, and they're waiting to hear from you.